this tenure and recently on one of my journal with me videos I mentioned that I had finally been able to print pictures from my sprocket that actually looked decent enough for me to be happy with them and somebody asked if I could share that process which I shall duly do I take no credit for it I will give all the credit to Courtney Diaz she is Little Raven Inc here on YouTube and she has a Patreon channel and she recently shared a video where she showed her process and yeah tips and tricks I got from that have enabled me to enjoy my little sprocket printer a lot more so I thought I would share because somebody did ask me to so let's uh oh dear timing is everything <laughs> hashtag real life real life okay so I'm gonna go into my gallery I have already chosen this particular photograph it is a selfie of Jessica and myself it is not particularly bright but I want to show you that if I I'm gonna quickly share it to the sprocket printer makes life easier I'm just gonna print it as is I have ensured my sprocket is on and let's print it as is and see what the quality is like two things that I do know about the sprocket number one is you need to make sure that it is fully charged at all times because if the battery runs low then it does affect the quality at least I found that the second thing I found is always keep the firmware and the software up to date when those updates come out because that again helps to make sure that the quality you get is going to be you know something that you can enjoy so here we go out it's coming as you can see already it's looking insipid and dull and just not all that not all that pleasing to the eye so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I am going to go oh I wonder if I can share it if I can do it that way because this stuff just discovered this is really nifty can I share it to pick tac there I'm just going to put it into pick tac pick tap go it is a paid for app I think if I remember it is it's the Android version of Radlab or Radlab came out with an Apple version and then they finally got an Android version and yeah it's not that expensive but this is something that you can do in any of your normal apps you don't have to buy an app as long as you can tweak your photo to up the contrast up the color you know just make it much much brighter then you're going to hopefully get a better result so this happens to be a really really cute app though it's not sponsored I bought it myself so I am going to go and I'm going to brighten it and I'm going to go back in the filters because I washed everybody out that way I'm going to oh, what what do I want to do I want to amp up the color uh, as I said it is very hit and miss for me anyway so whoa. <laughs> Let's try auto color. Yeah, we go. Looking very yellow, very yellow. Keep going, keep going. What about that one? Ooh, I like that. That's brought out more color. And then what you can always do is you can go into here and you can adjust the colors. So now I'm making your eyes really pop. I'm making myself look really rather, rather red. But uh, let's see, let's see. Let's do a little bit there. Shall we make it a bit lighter? Yeah. Shall we see how that goes? I think we should. So once you've made the adjustments that you like, what you can do is you can, well you press go there, and you have the option to save it as a recipe, which I've done a couple of times, which I found actually makes quite a bit of difference because then obviously your steps are already done for you, or you just save it to your gallery. So I've saved it to my gallery. I'm now going to go back into my Sprocket app. There. Go and find it. Uh, please ignore the poor Tamsin looking picture. And let's print it and let's see how well we did. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed it comes out semi-decent. Otherwise this has been a total waste of time. So yeah, so there we have our original and edited one. We're waiting for the little Sprocket to make its do its thing and uh, let's hope let's hope that it looks semi-decent well it's certainly bright <laughs> uh, it's not bad actually it's not a real real representation of the color of a top 
but if you compare the two, let's bring it up, you compare the two you can see immediately it's already looking better and obviously you can make adjustments so that it looks like you know how you would like it to look rather than how I would like it to look so yeah again top tips make sure your battery is fully fully charged I usually have it plugged into my computer and keep it charged that way always have the firmware up to date Make the adjustments to your photo, your contrast, your colour, your brightness, the way you want it to look. And yeah, you should hopefully get a better, a better result of your photograph than you have before. I hope you found this useful. I again say I am no expert. And as you can see, clearly, <laughs> clearly I'm no expert. But I don't mind that one. I think it looks so much brighter and better than that one. And yeah, again, it's just tweaking it to... Uh, to represent what you want to represent. So yes, enjoy it, fall back in love with your sprockets and uh, leave me a comment if it comes right for you or whether you enjoyed the video and like and subscribe and I hope you have a fantastic weekend and yeah we'll chat again soon. Bye bye.